Libra, what's going on with you? I hope you guys are doing lovely. This is going to be your weekly reading from the 2nd through the 8th. We're going to tune in. We're going to see what's going on with you guys during this time. All right. What's going on with the Librans? This is going to be a love reading. What's going on regarding matters of love to those Librans? Instead of tuning in, let's get two more circles and let's get a general overview. Let's get a potent message, clarity of guidance for those that are tuning in. All right. The High Priestess at the bottom of the deck. Ooh. Damn, ladies and gents, let me show you what I'm seeing here. The High Priestess, this is all about silence. This is all about a very difficult ending that has ensued, possibly because of deception. All right, someone here took some very sabotaging actions towards another that resulted in an absolute fiasco. But interestingly, the first two cards out of the deck, or rather the first three cards out of the deck, signifies that there's going to be movement. Someone here is going to want to communicate one thing to note is that we got three court cards, okay? This doesn't necessarily have to signify three people, but it could very much be that. So let's see what's going on here. What, what is this page of coins doing here? What's with this page of coins? Ten of coins, or rather the ten of cups. You see, someone here is coming forward wanting to bring about the opportunity to move a situation toward emotional expansion. Someone here is wanting to be vulnerable, Libra. They're wanting to grow a situation, bring about happiness. I feel that this person could be a Virgo. Nevertheless, this person could have been isolated. This could be you or the, or the person you're dealing with. Someone here was isolated and, and I feel that that's changing. I feel that this individual is coming out of the fucking dungeons is really what I'm getting a sense of. All right, the hermit, the hermit clarified by the fool. So exactly what I'm saying, someone here is coming out of isolation to simply bring about the page of coins and the ten of cups, the opportunity to grow a matter, a situation, okay? So what's going on here with the uh, the page of wands? Why is the page of wands here? So we've got earth element, fire element, and water element. Queen of wands is clarifying the page of coins, or rather the page of wands. So what I'm saying here is that there's most certainly a dichotomy here in regards to maturity or, you know, what what each person is bringing to the table. Look at that, the Empress just flew out. So again, I feel that somebody here is wanting to explore a relationship and they're wanting to grow it. However, like I said, there's a notable dichotomy between two people and it's as if someone's really gonna have to step up their game, 10 of wands, someone's really gonna have to really step up their game to bring forth the necessary energy to match the person that they are dealing with. I feel that someone, to be frank, I feel like someone's got to be won over. I feel that this Empress is not in the best state here in regards to their person. And I, I really get getting the sense that this page is someone here that's going to have to step it up. All right. But is there, is there potential? Most certainly. I keep seeing the lovers here uh, peeking out. All right. However, I feel as if the relationship finds itself in a state where, look at that, the lovers again. All right, I'm telling you, there's most certainly a sense of unity or a connection, rather. There may not be great unity, but there is most certainly a great connection on an emotional, spiritual, mental level. You people are definitely connected with one another, even though there's this difference, even though there's a lack of contentment. However, the motion of the ocean is coming forward here, Libra, with the Knight of, with the Knight of Cups. This is someone here that is wanting to express their feelings furthermore. This individual is wanting to express that they're wanting to be in something a little more stable, commitment. Someone here, in other words, is making an advancement towards stabilizing a relationship. That's really what I'm seeing here. All right. Let's see. I mean, I could have been describing you the whole time. What's going on with Libra? And what is their energy towards whomever it is that they are dealing with? What is Libra's energy towards whomever it is that they're dealing with? Let's get two more shuffles. Okay, nine of wands here at the bottom of the deck. We got the four of coins, we got the wheel of fortune, and the page of cups. Libra, I'm getting the sense that it is you that is coming out of the fucking dungeons of Mordor, all right? You could have been refraining from expressing yourself. Four of coins is all about, you know, I feel that. Look, I really get the sense that you, that you could have been dealing with something. Let me show you. This is the energy that I'm picking up from you. Well, not that. This is the energy that I'm picking up from you. Four of coins. This is all about... You know, refraining from being vulnerable, possibly because the shit hit the fan, you detached emotionally, you were overwhelmed. But in reality, ladies and gents, we already know how it is that you feel. The lovers and the ten of coins, or rather the ten of cups. So Libra, you know, with the Wheel of Fortune succeeding this four of coins, I get the sense that you're opening up. 
you're opening up. That's really what I'm getting here. The hermit. You see the hermit? That's clarifying the four coins. This is you in a state of respite, taking a break, you know, just simply being invulnerable, having your heart space closed off, having your not putting effort into this situation or anything of that sort. All right, look at the Knight of Wands. Yeah, you were in conflict. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna be honest here. I feel that you are exhibiting a bit of an immature energy. All right, I don't know how grand the conflict was, but the Five of Wands is succeeded by the Six of Wands, which entails success. So this is indicative of this, I don't wanna say petty, but this problem is most certainly reconcilable and you keep appearing as this energy of the Knight of Wands and the Page of Cups. So. Ladies and gents, what what kind of grown up were you be were you being or are you being in this situation when shit hit the fan? Are you wifey material? Are you husband material? Are you someone that is resourceful and and um, uh, what do you call it? Problem? Are you inclined towards problem solving or are you problematic? Because it seems like you're problematic. I kid you not, Libra. I could be wrong. You guys could be a fucking enlightened earth angel, all right? A descendant from the great Buddha or Jesus, and you have it going on, and you were just dealing with a fucking turd, all right? But it doesn't look like that. It doesn't look like that. So take it as it resonates. Now, the Wheel of Fortune, this is spinning. This is spinning towards the favor of emotional vulnerability is what I'm getting here, Libra. You know why? Because of the Four of Wands. You haven't given up hope in this situation. You, you're simply still inclined to, to connect, to razzle-dazzle for the goddamn 100th time here with the lovers. Libra is in love. And that is apparent as can be. What is going on here with the Page of Cups? What's going on here with the Page of Cups? Why is the Page of Cups here? The World Card. Libra wants a brand new beginning. You want to close this chapter out, don't you, Libra? You're like, I'm fucking done with this bullshit. Where is the fucking stability? Where is the healing? I want a man. I want to make love. I want to marry. I want my emperor. But there's still some fucking walls up, all right? There's internal walls up. I feel like there's an element of determination, but really, I feel like... <clears throat> I feel like you're having your own internal struggle. Hmm. Is that the case? What is Libra's mental state? What is Libra's mental state? Hmm. Libra, you're in a state of liberating yourself. So as mentioned earlier here with the Hermit, I feel that you were in a very confined space in your own self that you're coming out of. All right. <clears throat> Let's see. What's going on here, buddies? What's going on with the, what's going on here with the, uh, with the person that Libra's dealing with? What's going on with the person that Libra's dealing with? Let's be nosy as hell. What's going on here with the person that Libra's dealing with? What energy are they bringing up to the table? All right, Libra already got a, a little spanking here. Let's see, ladies and gents, what's going on with your person here? Four of, four of cups, we got the queen of coins, the ace of coins, and the star card. Well, let me tell you, this person is definitely exhibiting a little more stability here than you are. Okay, so that dichotomy that I was noting early on in this reading, your person could be the goddamn prize. I know you're going to argue, no, I'm the prize, this and that. Well, it doesn't look like that with that page energy you were exhibiting. I'm just reading. I don't know who you are, and don't get offended. Take it as it resonates, all right? The roles may be reversed. Take it as it resonates, but be honest with yourself. Don't lie, all right? Don't lie to yourself. So what's going on with this queen of coins? This is that queen of... You see, this person here is wanting to come forward. They're really putting their best foot forward to Six of Swords to move the relationship onto a better emotional state it is quite clear. The moon energy. There's been a lack of clarity. There's been a lack of communication. This brought a major sense of disillusion in, in this individual's side of the story, but they're actually being proactive. All right. Look at that. Knight of Swords. They're being proactive, which leads us to the Ace of Coins. The Ace of Coins is a new beginning and considering it's earth energy, this is practical a practical advancement, right? This isn't like the Knight of the Wands, which is a passion being driven or some sort of inspiration, or the, the Ace of Swords, which is, you know, innovation, creative thinking, or etc. This is practicality coming knocking in your front door. That's what this individual is coming forward here with. Look at this. And that's emotionally charged. The Ace of Coins clarified by the Ace of Cups, Libra. So you could be dealing with an Aquarius or you could be dealing with a earth sign. Nevertheless, well, nevertheless, your Libra, what I'm saying is that the star card. So this person here is, is wanting to heal, is wanting to heal. You see the star card is all about using the, uh, 
the faculty of imagination in order to formulate some sort of thought, the lovers, in order to formulate some sort of thought into the future, right? People call it wishful thinking. Sure, you could call it that, hope, whatever. It's just someone here envisioning a future, all right? And I feel that this future that this person has in mind is one of balance, clarity, things of that sort, stability. So they do want to be with you, but it's quite apparent that you guys are single. You guys are definitely not in a commitment with this individual. All right, <clears throat> tell me more. The aces, or rather the five of swords. Yeah, there's definitely some healing that needs to take place before you guys can move towards reigniting that passion between you guys. What is the potential here? What is the potential in this relationship? The queen of swords and the lovers here at the bottom of the deck, a lot of Gemini energy. So the potential is bringing clarity onto a situation. All right, sitting down like a fucking adult and dealing with the situation. All right, laying things out on the table, being vulnerable, be giving your point of view. You see, a lot of times we have conflicts with our partners, with our significant others, and we each have our own personal perspectives of what happened. And you can be mad about a situation. And this individual is bothered by the same situation, but through a completely different angle. So it's like there needs to be a sense of truthful and vulnerable communication between two of you. And that's exactly what the potential is, is coming out of this energy, coming out of this energy of the high priestess, communicating truth on board here. All right. That's what I'm seeing here, Libra. So it really looks like you and your person are going to be dealing with reconciling some sort of conflict. That's what I'm saying. Flat out. I'm going to guess any insight here that wants to come forth for Libra. Let's see. And then I will be taking this to the extender where I'm just going to deconstruct your individual. I'm going to look into their actions towards you this week. I want to look into this individual's perspective of you. How do they view you? I want to look into the future that they envision with you. How far does their imagination actually reach as of now? And then I want to look at the near future where this is going. Let's get three more. And let's get some insight for Libra. <clears throat> okay, buddy, let's see. What's going on with Libra? Any words of wisdom? Any, anything that will serve them in this situation? The devil energy at the bottom of the deck. All right, so we got the eight of, eight of swords, we got the four of swords, and we got the wheel of fortune. Fuck, look at this, Libra. I feel that you're stuck on something, right? I mean, you're stuck on something. It doesn't matter what you're stuck on, ladies and gents. It's the matter. It's what's, what's being presented to you is how you're dealing with the situation. So it's obvious that you're dealing with something tumultuous, right? Well, the way you're dealing with it seems to just be encompassed by the idea of overthinking. You're overthinking the same way, and it's not serving you any good, ladies and gents. Okay, the way you're approaching this is, is definitely needs to change. You definitely need to take a step back and seek to look at things from a different perspective. All right, an approach that you can take is obviously taking a step back, being patient, looking, looking at the grandiosity of the situation, not just your perspective, but possibly that individual's perspective as well. And, you know, coming to the determination that you do want to prosper this, that you do want to turn the situation around and aligning yourself with that. Not perpetually playing the same goddamn paradigm over and over and over again because the paradigm you are currently entertaining is not aligned with prospering this relationship. So, what is it that you need to do to get aligned with prospering the relationship? That's for you to figure out. And it, to be frank, it looks quite simple. You just need to get out of your own damn head. Okay? Love is a risk, ladies and gents. You, see, you simply got to embrace it. You say, fuck, shit hit the fan, but I'm going to give this another shot. I'm going to take a risk and... Fuck it, this is what I'm doing and I'm deciding I'm going to do it and I'm going to jump. But that's the energy that I saw you in. Remember I said you're coming out of that hermit energy to the full? You're already in that motion. So this is that last little kick for you. All right. I'm taking this to the extended, ladies and gents. If you're interested, the link will be in the description. Otherwise, my little devils, I will see you guys next time.